Hello! Welcome to New Down Junction. Been a while. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I do apologise. But there's something coming that post today. Yeah. It's been a while in coming. And believe it or not, I am over the moon with it. Well, I've opened the box and had a look, but it's time for a review on this anyway. It's a big brown box. So. What is in the box? I know you're saying what's in the box. Well, does this give it away? Yeah. Sutton's class 25. Woo! Excellent. Look at all of this. Wow. Right. So obviously I'm not that's a receipt. That's different. That's going to go there. It's all gonna get kept in this box packaging apart from the logo when it comes out to play. Sutton's go out the way. Uh, this is my first Sutton's logo actually. They have put in a notepad. Book. Wow. I've put that in as well. I love my Sutton Works logo Susler. Mm, well, so that's that bit. I know what he is get to the low oh man well obviously I'll get there eventually the packaging which comes in is second to none so take note of the manufacturers so that's that bit and then we've got the famous if I can get it out of the box is no I didn't want to do that bit Take the side panels out, Craig, and then you can get the box out easier. That one out. Right. We've got the famous baked bean box. There's one, there's a, the call it, baked bean tins. So, BR Sousa Type 2 Locomotive. This is sound fitted. And I dare bet you'll make one hell of a racket. So, just to give you a quick insight to it, it says a British Railway Standard Derby Works Design Bobo Type 2 Diesel, later designated class 2425, was introduced in 1958 as a modernisation plant to pilot scheme for over 20 machines. By 1967, when the production finally ended, 478 locos of 1,160 to 1,200 horsepower had been constructed in the railway work workshops in Derby, Crewe and Darlington, which Darlington is just down the road from me. At the outside contract of Bayer Peacock, Gorton Limited, the exact scale representation is intended accurate as possible within the current manufacturing constraints of being meticulously research using the original derby works drawn office plans detailed surveys as a, of the preserved locals uh, the model comprises over 350 individual parts die cast metal chassis smooth running gear machine metal gear box softly sprung buffer beams numerous stainless steel fort edge parts fine scale look wick profile wheels P4EM gauge wheel set, independent directional front marker, rear lights, cab interior, minimum radius, NEM, coupler, British style, tension lock, company, desktop, blah, 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 plus 22 enhanced decoder, so it's got the plus 22 in instead of the 21s. Uh, it is a Zimmo, unique micro dynamic twin speak audio system, blah, blah, blah. Optional booster super capacitor steel live upgrade is included within the local itself so wow so we've got there we go there's just a bit of information which i've read off the back of it and then we've got the tin there so i'm going to go ahead and put these back in that box there and to get it out of the tin you can see the thickness of the lid wow So we've got some little information booklets within this wet as well. 
We'll just move that down there a second. We'll put that there. So we've got with compliments, useful information from warnings from Sutton's. Right, okay then, spare parts, right, that's just that bit. Then we've got the digital guide to sound features for the class 25, which is all in there. So we'll put that to one side as well. I broke it. I have no broken light. <laughs> So we've got some head cords there as well for it. So put them to one side. We have got, wow. Oh, we've got two of them. Oh, actually two different set of information for this. So basically that's one there is for the green, 25. And the one which I have getting for New Durham Junction is the blue. So we'll put that on side, put that there. And we'll get inside the tin itself and we'll go further into the box. As you can see, the packaging is second to none, honestly. Wowzers. So plastic case, as you can see there. Sorry if the sun's glaring off it. It is screwed into the plinth. And wow. So what parts have we got in the bags here? We have got the blank and plate for the 24, which is in one side. And we've got all the added extra detail parts in another bag which I'm not going to fit, no, there's no way I'm going to fit them. Let's just take this, um, this band off. We'll get the top of the case off so we can have a look at this logo. So that's that bit off. Um, wow, holy moly, guacamole. So, as you can see there, we've got the crew fitted in the low core. And wowzers. Both ends are detailed. I'm just looking where we can put there a coupler. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll take it off the plinth. We did have a screwdriver at the hand. There we are. We'll just put that there for a second, guys. So you've got a good, nice little look. Look into the cab there. Screwdriver, which I need. So we're going to get it off the plinth and we will put it on the track and we will have a look at it further in detail as well. So we'll go ahead and get this off the plinth. One screw out. Yep, 
Yeah, I know everybody's starting to rave on about their AQ skills with the 66ers coming out as well. So that will be another video to look forward to to catch up one of the people's. So we've gotten the logo off the plinth now. So we have a, a good, oh sorry, wrong way on the camera. There's a good look at this logo. You can see the drivers there. And wow, absolutely unbelievable. So this one is going to just go into privatization on the layout. It's, um, I don't think it'll hardly get run anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on the track. Basically, it's set at address number three, so bear with me, I'll be back. Right, welcome back. Uh, we've got is class 25 which is 25324 on the depot as you can see there we'll spin the camera around so it's just in the sheds now as you can see it's got a couple of celebrities in we've got Grim and Kane and we've got an apprentice with uh, Grim and Kane but who's that that's lazy lazy Joe checking over the axles well here we go again so we're going to go through the Right, we've got warm start, we have got a field start and a cold start. Right, well, that sounds canny. Uh, zero lighting on and off, engine start up, brake application, single tone, two tone, engine mode, coasting, power handle on, buffering, flange squeal, battery isolating, cab door, driver's checks, driver's checks again. Uh, brake change over, handbrake wheels, steam heat boiler, cab vocals, uh, dispatch whistle, shunt mode, speed lock, power handle to quarter, half, three quarters, power handle to full, sound fade and volume selection. And it's just very various different ways to drive this locomotive. So we will go through the sounds with you. And wow, all I can say is just wow. I know the camera is, you can see the light flickering on the camera, but I think that's just the, the frame picking up on it. So it should be addressed at number three. Select local number three, enter that. So, lighting, we'll press the zero. Okay, we've got the cab light coming on one side, the cab light on the other side. Right, okay. So, I think it's one for the first engine start up.
for the drive hold on on the first engine start up. Wow. Selectable range of all right, so we can change the cab vocals through various CV settings. sound fade on it. We'll cut that one out. Right, so we will go for the warm start, I believe. Press on twice, number one. For the camera moving, guys, it's just the way it is. I'll just put that there a second. I'll sort this camera out, stop it moving around.
Well, what can I say about this Sutton's Class 25? Absolutely awesome. Really, really... Yeah, it took three years, but really, really, what a crap and load for. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Prior is going. I will do a little running video as it go on around the track. And we'll have a quick look at that as well. Back in a second. Alright, so we've got it on the track now. We're going to have a little short running session with this Sutton's Class 25 324.
Thanks for watching. See you later.